Okay. So chapter three, current electricity. This is going to be the fifth class. Okay. Uh, part five of this chapter. Today our main topic is we are going to discuss about color coat carbon resistors. Forget about the color coat. Okay. Our topic is color coat carbon resistors. Forget about the color coat. What are these carbon resistors? That is all you have to know first. Okay, what are these resistors? Resistors are materials that offer resistance, right? That you have studied in your class 10 science, okay? You have a chapter electricity there you have studied uh, what is a resistance and what are resistors you have also studied that okay substances with materials that offer resistance they are called resistors okay what is their function what is their role is it okay like what are their effects everything you have studied in class 10 i'm not going to highlight any of those things i'll just strictly focus on the topic here Color code carbon resistors. Forget color code resistors. What are resistors? The materials that offer resistance are called resistors. Where do we use these resistors? For experimental purpose. For okay, we use these resistors in electronic equipments or in developing scientific instruments, okay? Uh, these are all where these resistors are used. Now, commercially, commercially, resistors are of two types. We get the resistors in the form of alloys. alloys you know alloys okay alloys can be obtained by a mixture of metals or a metal with a non-metal is it okay yeah so in commercial we get these resistors of uh, in two types one is alloys alloys means micron Micron, okay. Manganin. Manganin. And so in commercial resistors, okay, we get in the form of alloys, micron or manganin or constantin. All right. Yes. Now, why do we use these alloys as resistors? Why do we use these alloys as resistors? Why? Because the resistivity, the resist. If you don't know what is resistivity, you please uh, check on the second or the third video of this chapter, okay, which I have uploaded in YouTube then you will understand the entire concept of resistance uh, and its properties, okay, the resistivity, all right. On the second part of this uh, chapter three, current electricity, it's available in the YouTube. I have uploaded the video already for that. I have sent you even the link uh, in WhatsApp, okay? Yes. So, <clears throat> micron, manganin, and Constantin. These are alloys which we use is which we use as resistors. And why do we use these alloys as resistors? Because their resistivity, their resistivity is almost independent of temperature. Okay. Their resistivity. Their resistivity is almost almost or nearly we can say nearly it's nearly independent independent of temperature there is why we use these alloys as resistors because 
their resistivity is almost independent of temperature. Class, you listen. You've already studied this in class 10, but I'm saying it again. Whenever a current is passed through a wire, it produces heat, right? Heating effect of electric current that you have studied in class 10. So whenever a current passes through a wire, it produces heat, known as heating effect of current. Now, if, it pro if heat is produced, temperature increases. And if the temperature of the wire increases, okay, then your experiment will be disturbed. So in order not to disturb the experiment, we use this alloys as resistors because their resistivity is almost independent of temperature. Like say 99%, almost 10, not 100, but 99%, 95%, okay, 98%. All right, they are independent of temperature. Are you clear with that? Okay, why do we use this alloy as resistors? Because their resistivity is almost independent of temperature. When a current is passed through a wire, it produces heat. So heating effect of current. Now, if it is produced, the temperature increases. And if the temperature increases, properties of the material can change. That affects your experiment, okay? So in order to let the temperature not to affect the experiment, we use alloys as resistors, which are almost independent of temperature. But there is one limitation here. There is one limitation of using alloy as resistor. What is that limitation? There is one limitation of using these alloys as resistors, and that limitation is they do not produce very high resistance. They do not produce very high resistance. They may produce like 50 ohm resistance. They may produce 10 ohm. They may produce 80, 100, okay, but not beyond that. These alloys, they do not produce. They do not produce very high resistance. For that purpose, okay, so this is the drawback. This is the limitation, or these are this is the drawback of using alloys as resistors. Are you getting me? Yes. Suppose say you want to produce a very high resistance, then resistance is directly proportional to the length of the wire, to the length of the conductor, right? Then you need several meters of these wires. And in order to get several meters of these wires, okay the cost or the expenditure will be very high. Are you getting me? Yes. So that is the drawback or that is the limitation of using this alloy. Of course, we can produce very high resistance using this alloys also, but the length of the wire should be very long. And in order to get several meters of these wires, the cost becomes very high. That is the drawback, that is the limitation of using this alloy sense resistors. Is that clear to you? Maybe, okay, maybe, okay. Now the second one is carbon resistors, carbon resistors. The second one, carbon resistors. Carbon resistors are very, very much efficient than these alloy resistors, okay? Why, because? The size of this carbon resistor is very, very compact. Uh, in our uh, physics lab also, we'll be doing some of these electronic devices. If we start up with the practicals, I cannot show you now. I don't have it with me. But okay, these carbon resistors, they are so tiny. They are very small. Is it OK? Like they are so compact. They are, they are very compact. Are very compact. Compact means very small in size. Very small in size. The second one is the second one is they produce they produce very high resistance. 
even with their small size, even though they are very small in size, even though they are very compact, they produce very high resistance. So these carbon resistance are much preferred as compared to these alloy resistors, okay? Carbon resistors are very much preferred for their very small size, first one. Second one, even though their size is small, they produce very high resistance. So for these reasons, carbon resistors has taken the place of these alloy resistors. Is it okay? Are you clear with me? Okay. Yes. <laughs> now, one more important thing here. These carbon resistors, they are very small in size. Okay, so much small in size that the value of the resistance cannot be seen. Suppose this alloy carbon resistors, okay, they are very small in size, very, very small. So the value of the resistance cannot be written on the material, all right? So small, just small in size, so small in size that the value of the resistance cannot be written above the material or over the material. Is it okay? So we use color codes to represent the strength of these resistors. Are you getting me? Is that clear to you? Yeah, there is why color code carbon resistors. These carbon resistors, they are given color codes. Why color code? Why? Because, because of their small size, the value of the resistance cannot be written over the material or above the material okay so they are given certain color codes so that knowing the color of the codes knowing the color of the codes we can determine the strength of the resistance is it okay we can determine the value of the resistance for those uh, carbon resistors is that clear to you okay any any questions any questions you, if you have any questions you can please comment on the chat any confusion okay, or any errors, you can always uh, comment on the chat, all right? So if it is clear to you, we, we shall proceed. At least one of you can comment that, okay, it is clear. Plus, what do you say? Is the, is the introduction clear to you? If it is not clear to you, we can discuss it once more, okay. Okay, all right. So we shall go. Now we shall determine, we shall learn how to determine the resistance, how to determine the resistance of these carbon resistors using different color codes. How to determine the resistance of these carbon resistors using the color codes. Okay, before that, this is your carbon resistor. Okay. This is your carbon resistor. This is your resistor, okay? See, I told you that they are very small in size, okay? But to, in order to make things small here, I have drawn a, I have magnified the image, all right? Yes. Like you divide this by, you divide this figure into, uh, like uh, maybe 50 pieces. Each of those 50 pieces will be the size of one carbon resistor. Is it okay? So small. But in order to make things clear, I will just magnify the image here. Don't think that the carbon resistor are this much large in size, all right? I can draw a little bigger. I can make me fine. Let me... Make me fine. Magnification. Okay. I have magnified the image. So, there are four coaxial color bands in each of the carbon resistors. There are four coaxial colored bands. If you don't understand what is coaxial, you can say there are four coaxial colored bands or rings. There are four colored rings in each of the carbon resistors. All right, yes. Four coaxial colored rings. Four coaxial colored bands or rings. 
This is your first color band. This will be your first color band. Okay, this is your first color band. Number one. This is your second color band. This is your second colored band. So this is the second colored band. This is your third colored band. And this is your fourth colored band. This is going to be your fourth colored band. So in carbon resistors, we have coaxial colored bands or rings. There are four coaxial colored bands. Colored bands, or we say rings. Okay. Lord of the rings, the return of the king. So there are four colored, okay, four coaxial colored bands or rings in each of the carbon bases. The first two colors, color number one and two, the first two colors gives the significant digits, significant digits in class 11, chapter two, okay? Units and measurements, you have already learned what is meant by significant digit. If you have not studied anything in class 11 and promoted to class 12, then instead of uh, understanding the concept of significant digit, I can just say that the first two colors gives the numbers. Numbers. What numbers? Okay. If you don't understand that, the first two color codes, the first two colors, gives you the magnitude of the resistance. You know magnitude, right? Okay. Yes. So the first two colors. What does it give you? The magnitude of the resistance. Actually, the first two colors gives you the significant digits. The numbers means magnitude of the resistance. Is it okay? It's the value, the magnitude of the resistance. The third color code, the third color code gives you the multiplier. Multiplier. What is this multiplier? Do you understand what is this multiplier? The third color code gives you the multiplier. Multiplier means the order of the magnitude. Order of the magnitude is known as multiplier. All right? First two color bands gives the magnitude of the resistance. Third color band gives you the multiplier. Multiplier meaning order of the magnitude. Order of the Is that right? Order of the magnitude. The fourth colored band gives you the tolerance. Tolerance. Tolerance in percentage. Tolerance in percentage. See, you don't understand what is tolerance and still you're writing now. Okay, tolerance means in percentage. Tolerance means variation. Variation from the given value, from the given value. Variation from the given value. But exactly what does this mean? Fourth color band gives you the tolerance in percentage. But what is tolerance? Variation from the given value. But what does that mean? This means, suppose, the resistance of this carbon resistor is 4200 ohm company says okay okay company says that the resistance of this resistor is 4200 ohm then tolerance means variation from the given value that means when we do the, do experiment with this resistor okay your resistor the resistance of your resistor will be either maybe plus five percent more than the given value or minus five percent less than the given value it can be five percent more than the given value or five percent less than the given value suppose if the tolerance is ten percent if the tolerance is ten percent then the resistance of your resistor can be ten percent more than the given value or ten percent less than the given value is it okay? That is what is meant by variation from the given value. 
we have studied uh, this uh, one thing, one topic uh, in the last class about uh, what was that EMF of the cell. It's given 1.5 volt, but when while doing experiment, some of the voltage are dropped, and, and instead of 1.5, company says it's 1.5 voltage, but when we do the experiment, we are giving only 0.8 voltage. Is it okay in the external circuit? That means some voltage are being lost somewhere. Okay, the same concept can also be applied over here. Is it all right? Yes. The, the value of the resistance can be lost uh, here and there. Is it okay? It can be converted to other forms or due to some reasons it can be lost. It can be slightly greater than the given value, slightly less than the given value. That is known as the tolerance. That means variation from the given value. Are you following me? Yes. If you have attended the last class, previous class, uh, the last class part four, then uh, I think you have already understood, okay, what I am trying to say here. So the four colored band gives you the tolerance in percentage only. Tolerance means variation from the given value. That means, okay, if your tolerance is 15%, that means if your tolerance is 15%, then the resistance of this resistor can be 15% more than the given value or 15% less than the given value. Are you following that? That is mean by tolerance. Okay. So if this is not that, then I'll just go on with the next one. Plus, shall we proceed with the next one? Okay. Now, see, uh, you know a country that is in Europe, uh, England. You know England? Has anyone heard about the, of the country England? Okay, you have heard, no? Uh, what was the other name of this England, the previous name? England was also known as England, though I think it's been only a few years that they changed the name, no? England. Previously, uh, what was the name of the country? Before England, what was the name of that country? You, you do not know. You are so much bad in history. I think everyone should know that, okay? Yes, I think uh, one student learned wrong sen namshi pongan. He says Britain, yeah. So, Britain, Britain, okay, was called it as uh, England. England was called as Britain, okay, in the, in the 18th and 19th century or maybe before that. So, there was the lady, there was the lady whose name was B.B. Roy. B. B. Roy, okay? There was a lady whose name was B. B. Roy. B. B. Roy. Okay, her name was B. B. Roy and she was a see, uh, British, they conquered and explored almost half of the world, right? So Britain is also called Great Britain, right? It's India, we cannot call it Great India, but Britain, since Britishers, since they like uh, almost conquered, they what, explored half of the world. So we'll just call Britain, we call it as Great Britain. Britain, I hope the spelling is correct. T-A-I-N or T-I-A-N? Great breed, T-A-I-N, I think. So this B.B. Roy is the name of a lady and she was a Great Britain, very good wife. Very good wife. She was, the, she was a lady, okay? And she was a very good wife, one of the best wife in Britain country, all right? So B.B. Roy, name of a lady, 
and we call her as the Great Britain Very Good Wife. Actually, I, this is not a true story, this is just a made up story in order to remember the color codes of the carbon resistors. Is it okay? It's just a made up story. So you just remember a very simple story. A lady called, named Baby Roy, and she was Great Britain's very good wife. So knowing this sentence, okay, that B.B. Roy was a Great Britain very good wife, we shall remember the color codes of the carbon resistors. All right? Yes. One of the best technique, okay, made up stories to remember the color codes. So letters, letters. What are the letters here? B B Roy. B B Roy. B B Roy. Right? B B Roy. Name of the lady. B B Roy. How many letters? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And who was she? Who was she? Great Britain. Very good wife. Great starts from G. Britain starts from B. Very starts from B, good starts from G, and wife starts from W. So these are the letters extracted from the uh, given sentence. Is it okay? Yes. Now, so these are the letters. Now, let's say, right, let's note down the colors. Each of these letters has colors. Okay, the first B, the first letter B gives you the color black. The first B gives you the color black. This first B is black. The second B, the second B gives you which color? How many colors starts with B? Black, brown, blue. What else? Burble. Huh? How many colors starts with B? Black. Okay, black. Black is done. First B stands for black. The remaining two Bs, one B over here, one B over here. The second B stands for the color brown. The second B stands for the color brown. First, first B, black. Second B, brown. R denotes which color? R denotes only one color, right? What is that? Red. R denotes only one color. Red. O denotes only one color. Orange. Orange. Y denotes only one color. Yellow. G denotes only one color. Green. Now the third B, first B, second B, third B. Third B denotes blue. Don't get confused with B. There are three Bs over here. The first B stands for black. Second B stands for brown. Third B stands for blue. Is it okay? Black, brown, blue. From darker, you are becoming lighter, no? Black, brown, black. Very dark, brown, little darker, blue. A bit lighter, okay? Yes. D. D stands for only one color. What is that? D stands for violet. Violet. Okay. G stands for hair G. The first G stands for green. We have another G. Is there any other color which starts with G? Any other color which starts with G apart from green? Green too, okay. It's done. Here, G stands for green. We have another G towards the end. What does this stands for? Anyone? Any comments? Going? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, students. Okay, you have commanded very well. Another G stands for gray. 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 Anyone wearing gray shirts here? Oh, yeah. Who is this boy? Okay. And W stands for? W stands for what? W stands for only one color, right? Uh, what is that? 
white. W stands for white only. Okay, no other color. So these letters are represented by these colors. Okay, these letters. B B Roy, Great Britain, very good wife. So these letters stands for these colors. First B black, second B brown. R stands for red, O stands for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, B for violet, G for gray. Two green, one is what two G, one is green, the, towards the end, gray. And W stands for white. Now let us write here numbers. Numbers. Okay. Numbers means we start with zero, one, two, three, four. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have numbers, we have digits from zero to nine. Next, we have multiplier. Multiplier. The first number is zero, so its multiplier will be 10 to the power zero, right? First number is zero, first digit is zero. Multiplier will be 10 to the power zero. The second digit is one, its multiplier will be 10 to the power one. Next digit is two, its multiplier will be 10 to the power two. Next digit is three, its multiplier will be 10 to the power three. Next digit is four with multiplier 10 to the power four. Next digit is five, its multiplier will be 10 to the power five. Next digit is 6, its multiplier will be 10 to the power 6. Next digit is 7, its multiplier will be 10 to the power 7. Next digit is 8, its multiplier will be 10 to the power 8. The last, multipl uh, the last digit is 9, its multiplier will be 10 to the power 9. Again, we have here color, num letters, colors, numbers, multipliers. Now we have colors again. One more color. Here we have only three colors, gold, gold, silver, and no color. We have, uh, again, another series of colors that is gold, silver, and no color. See, uh, in the carbon resistor, how many colored bands do we have? How many colored bands do we have? I told you, I told you that before, before just writing these uh, letters and colors, I have told you how many colored bands do we have in carbon resistors? Four colored bands. First two colored bands gives you the numbers, right? Means the magnitude of the resistance. Third colored band, third colored band gives you the multiplier, means the order of the magnitude. And the fourth colored band gives you the tolerance. So this, this gold, silver, and your fourth colored band will be either gold, will be silver, or else no color. All right? The fourth colored band cannot be black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, gray, white. The fourth colored bands cannot be one of these. The fourth colored band will be either gold, will be either silver, or it will have no color at all. If the fourth colored band is gold, then the tolerance will be 5%. 5%. If the fourth colored band is gold, tolerance will be 5%. That means your resistance is 5% greater than the given value or 5% less than the given value. Okay? Yes. If the fourth colored band is silver, then the tolerance will be 10% means your resistance will be 10% greater than the given value or 10% less than the given value. Are you following that? And if the fourth color band has no color, no color at all, if the fourth color band has no color, then the tolerance will be 15%. The tolerance, not 15, the tolerance will be 20%. If the fourth color band has no color at all, then the tolerance will be 20% means your resistance, the value of the resistance will be 20% more than the given value or 20% less than the given value. Are you following me? 
Yes, company given value, okay. Twenty percent more than the uh, company given value from the manufacturer given value, or twenty percent less than the manufacturer given value. All right. Yes. Okay. Now, so using this concept, using this information, we will draw different types of carbon resistors with different color codes. And with the help of this table, let us determine the strength, the tolerance, the magnitude of your given resistor. Uh, using this information, we will determine the resistance okay, of the given carbon resistors. All right? This, this is applicable only for the carbon resistors, not for your alloy resistors. Is it okay? Alloy resistors do not follow this concept. Do not follow this rule, okay? Only for the carbon resistors. Why do we follow this? Because the size of the carbon resistors are so small that their resistance cannot be written over the resistor, okay? Over the material. So they give colored bands, and knowing the color of those bands, we can identify their resistance. We can calculate the, their resistance, all right? Yes. So for color bands, First two colored bands will give you the magnitude. First two colored bands gives you the numbers, the significant digits means magnitude of the resistance. The third colored band gives you the multiplier. Multiplier meaning, multiplier meaning order of the magnitude. Okay. The fourth colored band will be either gold, maybe silver, or else no color. And it gives you the tolerance of the resistance. Tolerance means it can be this much percent greater than the given value or this much percent less than the given value. All right? Is it clear? Yes. So let's try out two questions. Okay. Oh, I should not about this one. Yeah, this is going to be an. Uh, have you copied down this? You need to copy down this one, okay? If you have not copied down, you please do it. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Today the attendance is very poor, okay? Only 62 students, 62 students out of uh, 70, okay? So I think it's being very poor. See, I'm telling you again, your attendance are very important for your classes. With poor attendance, I think it is going to affect your uh, practical states. What I will say, I have said that earlier, I'm saying it again, okay? Later on, if you are giving very poor marks in practical, then I will not be responsible because you are given every chance to attend the classes, okay? Yes. So, suppose let me draw a resistor, carbon resistor here. Okay, four color bands. One, two, this is one, this is two, this is three and this is four. Suppose the first colored band is, uh, say, green. Green. The second colored band, suppose uh, it is uh, brown. Second colored band is brown. Your third colored band, suppose it is. Uh, what shall I take? Red. And your fourth colored band, your fourth colored band is silver. Carbon resistors comes with four colored bands, right? The first color band is green, second color band is brown, third color band is red, and the fourth color band is silver. Then can you determine what is the resistance of this resistor? Can you determine what is the resistance of this resistor? I'll be I'll give you five minutes exact. 
Just look at the table, okay? First two colors gives you the magnitude of the resistance. Side, third color code gives you the multiplier, means the order of the magnitude. And the fourth color then gives you the tolerance. Any comments here? Any comments? Okay, if you are done with the answer, you, you, you need to comment, okay? I have one comment. Hello says 51 into 10 to the power 2 plus minus 10%. Let's see. First two color bands gives you the magnitude. We will take only the numbers for the first two colors. Green has the number 5. Green has the number 5. And brown has the number 2. Or brown has the number 1. Brown means it's one. So for the first two colors, we'll take only the numbers. Okay? And these numbers gives you the magnitude of your resistance. The third color code red. The third color code is red. And this third color, third color code gives you the order, the order of the magnitude. Red. What is the multiplier for red? The multiplier of red is 10 to the power 2. So 51 into 10 to the power 2 ohm. 51 into 10 to the power 2 means 5,100 ohm. Such a big resistance. Okay, such a big resistance, 5,100 ohm. And then, the gives you the tolerance. The tolerance for silver is plus minus 10%. That means the resistance of this resistor can be 10% greater than this value or 10% less than this value. Are you following me? Yes, very good. Okay, so if you follow, then that's very good. This kind of question usually comes for the multiple choice, okay, or maybe for one more question. Okay. Sometimes it can be the other way. Question can be asked in the other way. You may be given this value. And you need to determine the four color codes. It can be done in the other way. Okay? Suppose, suppose I say that the resistance, the resistance of this resistor, one, two, three, four. The resistance of this resistor is like 64 into 10 to the power 6 ohm plus minus 20 percent. See? The resistance of this carbon resistors may be given. And you will be asked to find out the different color codes. Okay? Then, can you determine what will be the color of these four bands? Can you determine what is the color of these four bands? You can calculate and let me know. Anyone with the correct answer can, uh, confident with your answer, can comment on the chat, okay? I have three comments already. In this note says, and hero says, blue, yellow, blue, and no color. Okay. 
the first two numbers represents the first two color bands. Six. A color band with number six. A color band with number six will be blue. No. The first color band with number six will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Green. So this is green. The second color band, the first two numbers gives you two, the first two color bands, okay? So four gives you, number four gives you the second color band. That is orange. It is orange. Hey, did you comment the right thing? Blue, yellow, and no color, Hari. Uh, I think what is the problem here? I'm getting different. Six. The first number gives you the color of the first band. Six, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is green. It's not been yellow. I think uh, there is some problem. Green, right? Wait, am I correct? Green? Blue. Everyone is saying blue. Okay, quite. Let me write BB Roy. BB Roy. Great Britain, very good wife. This is brown, or oh, this is black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue, or oh, violet, gray, white. I think you are correct, yes. Numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, you are correct. The first two letters gives you the color of the first two bands. First letter, first number is 6. So it will give you the color of the first band, 6. 1, 2, okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, it's blue. Okay, it's blue. Okay, the first color band is blue. The second number is 4. So 4, yellow. The third color band gives you the multiplier, 10 to the power 6. The color with the multiplier 10 to the power 6 will be blue. Blue again. And fourth color, uh, and the tolerance is plus minus 20% that gives that there is no color in the fourth band. Are you following me? So a question can be asked in either way. Either to determine the resistance or to determine the colors of the four bands. Is it okay? I'll, just, I'll give you another question, an easy question to work out with this. Okay. Okay. Let me give you like this. You have a resistor. You have a resistor. The first color band, the first color band is yellow. Yellow. The second color band is violet. Violet. The third color band is brown. Brown. And the fourth color band is gold. So you determine what is the resistance of this carbon resistor. I have seven comments. Oh no, these are previous comments, not the recent comments. I think this uh, you should not take enough time to do this one. Yeah, I have, I'm getting an answer. Okay, this time, okay, Samas so commented, clinically and in this time, com commented, 47, 10 to the power 1, plus minus 5%. Okay, correct. 47 into 10 to the power 1, plus minus 5%, means... 47 into 10 to the power 1 is 470 ohm. If you do not write ohm, your answer is wrong. 
If it comes for a one marks and if you do not write on, you are getting zero. All right. So 470 ohm plus minus 5% is the value of this carbon. One last question. How will you represent? How will you represent? How will you represent a resistance? A resistance of three thousand seven hundred ohm plus minus ten percent in color points. A very good question for you. How will you represent a resistance of 3,700 ohm plus minus 10% in color codes? Any answers? You can please comment. I've got an answer. Orange, violet, orange, silver. Orange, violet, or not orange. It's not, that hard color is not orange. Yeah. Orange, violet, red, and silver. Tinutum se commended correctly, okay? Orange, first color would be orange, second would be violet, third would be red, and the fourth one would be silver. Okay, one question for you, okay? The sequence, let me write down the question. The sequence, the sequence of colored bands, of colored bands in two carbon resistors, in two carbon resistors, the sequence of colored bands in two carbon resistors, R1 and R2, R1 and R2 are Roman 1, Roman 1, brown, green, blue. That means for R1, the fourth colored band has no color, okay? And no color means the tolerance will be 20%. And Roman 2, orange, black, green. Orange, black, green. Oh, that means for both the resistors, R1 and R2, the fourth colored band has no color. Find the ratio of their resistance. Find the ratio of their resistances. Find the ratio of their resistances. Plus, can you do this? Are you ready to do this? Can anyone give me the correct answer here? I got an answer.
Martinetum sir replied that the answer is uh, four is to one. Five is to one, yes. Okay, the ratio of the two resistances R1 and R2 will be five is to one. Okay. I think our time is up plus, okay? So uh, with this topic, we end uh, the part five session, the fifth session of this current electricity. There will be like, okay, so tomorrow we have class, so we are going to continue with the same chapter, but okay, we'll be discussing the sixth session. Tomorrow will be the sixth session, sixth session or the part six of this chapter, current electricity, okay? Till then, I want you to do some revision okay, on part one, two, three. And with that concept, I think uh, we can go at a proper flow, okay, on the remaining things of this chapter. All right, and thank you for your attendance. Thank you for learning. You can log out now. Oh, you can log out now, okay? Yes.